Hi students, I am Prakash, Chartered Accountant and acting as Academic Advisor and Masterminds. Hope you have done your preparation well for today's CA Inter Advanced Accounting Examination. My dear students, CA examinations are like a small psychological game. In every question paper, yes, there will be some challenging questions. At the same time, there will be certain very simple, straight and easy questions. Unfortunately, students who are having some examination fear, just by looking at that few tough questions, they will come to a conclusion that the entire question paper is tough. Just like an English saying is that initial impressions matter. Similarly, students will get an initial impression that the question paper is tough. But frankly speaking, none of the question papers will be as tough to make every student to fail in the exams. So while designing the question paper itself, institute has to follow certain strict norms that the question paper must be, must have facility to make majority of the students to get through the exam. But the only problem is students will spoil their exam just out of their examination fear. Now what I would like to say at this crucial moment of time is so don't fumble by looking at the question papers even if one or two questions are tough in the examinations go ahead remember you have one choice question and i used to say for several times it is quite comfortable it is quite good attempt if you are able to write only for 80 to 85 marks come out of your school education mentality that a student must attempt 100 marks yes if it is possible to attempt 100 marks, yes, you go ahead. But otherwise, even if you are able to attempt 80 to 85 marks, then feel happy that you have done a nice attempt. This is rule number one. Rule number two, whenever there is a tough question paper, then obviously valuation will be little bit liberal. And sometimes institute may even consider some adding some grace marks to all the students. So, and when such paper is tough, automatically subsequent papers will be easy. And even in those tough question papers, minimum of 80 marks will be comfortable and everybody can write because the question paper will be for 125 including choice. That's why I'm talking about 80 marks. And rule number two, let us assume one paper is tough. See that the impact of that exam does not fall on the subsequent exams. It is like playing a series of cricket matches. It's not one day, it's a series of cricket matches. Then the team has to play multiple matches. Just because they lost one match, if they spoil all the subsequent matches, then definitely you will point out that they have committed a mistake. So apply the same logic in your case also just because you lost one paper just because you have not written one paper properly see that you don't spoil your subsequent papers so please see that the impact of one paper does not fall on the subsequent papers same thing will apply when you have written your one paper very well and start neglecting subsequent papers it's not good to do that also so you need to think about each paper independently whether you have written one paper properly or not, see that its impact does not fall on the subsequent exams. Just remember these two principles at this crucial moment of time. So I hope that this small advice will definitely help you to write your examination well. Remember what you learnt over a period of 9 months or 10 months, nobody needs. What is important is how you wrote your exam in these 3 hours of time, that matters. Only that point matters. So use this three hours of exam time very effectively and you will definitely rock my dear students. All the best.